a lot of tension. Now, Dan Raj with a little bit of room in which to work. Lovely play by Dan Raj. He's got support right and left. Gets into the circle, still going. Lovely run by Dan Raj. Pabjat Singh, a goal. Oh, superb play by India. All set up by Dan Raj Pile. What a player he is. Well, he may be approaching 35 years of age, but you won't see a better run than this in the whole of the Champions Trophy. Watch it from here on in now. Past one, past another, past another. Lovely stick work. And then, eventually, he manages to work the ball to Prabjot Singh. Prabjot Singh completed the move with a low shot into the corner. Here it is again, Prabjot Singh, and no chance at all for Ahmed Alam in the Pakistan goal. So India take the lead with that goal by Prabjot Singh. So drama and something for the Indian supporters to, to cheer at last, because really they've been under the cosh with Pakistan having so much possession and doing most of the attacking. But this young Indian side, and a reminder again that uh, 14 of the squad of 16 are 22 years of age or under. Seven of them are, are 21. They've got one young 19-year-old and one 20-year-old. So this really is an exciting new Indian side and uh, coach Rajinder Singh who coached the winning Junior World Cup team last year in Hobart and uh, he's brought most of them here Every single Indian player back behind the ball now. Not yet pressing. Now this could be opportun an opportunity. Got the shot in and it's gone in. And it's awarded. Well, it was Gazanfa Ali on the right of the circle who squeezed it across. And somehow or other, there's Gazanfa. Now, whether it was his shot that eventually found its way through or whether it was deflected or not, I'm really not sure. There it is. Well, he didn't really hit it properly, did he? But uh, it may just have touched an Indian stick on its way in. But Gazanfa, it is, who gets the equaliser for Pakistan. And we're all square again. India won, Pakistan won. Guzman drives it in to the top of the circle. Prabjot Singh for India. He's had some great runs. Tall man, oh, it's a lovely tackle. Best period of play, this for, for both countries now, as they strive for open, uh, 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 an opening. And uh, again, it's that man, Dan Raj Pile, who comes charging forward. Well, it's going to be a penalty corner. Gagan was in there, number 11 for India. Gagan Ajit Singh. Here it is, driven in. Just to the right, there's Gagan. Gets it across, and it must have struck a foot. As it was going across in front of goal, set up, first of all, by uh, Baljit. Baljit Singh Dillon. And now India have the chance just before half time of taking the lead. It's one all at the moment, remember. Oh, what a strike. What a strike that was. Well, they don't come very much better than that, I can tell you. It is the captain, Dilip Turkey, who has hit it with great, great power and force. Low into the corner. Goalkeeper got down, couldn't stop it with his feet though, and it's rocketed into the corner. Dilip, the captain, with a lovely goal, and India take the lead. And what a time to score. India 2, Pakistan 1, and we have one minute left on the clock. Important match for both umpires, Ray O'Connor and David Leeper, both from the United Kingdom. O'Connor from Ireland, Leeper from Scotland. 
and they've done a pretty good job so far. It was always going to be a, a highly charged match, and it has been, but uh, no untoward incidents. It's all been about hockey, and we've seen some marvellous hockey. Now then, good defending again by India. Lovely play by Dan Raj. Daljit. Dan Raj Pile. Oh, this is great play by India. Oh, that is a magnificent goal. That is quite, quite superb. What a goal by Gejan. Marvellous, marvellous goal. They don't come any better than that. From inside their own half, watch it again. Well, of course, Danraj Pile was involved. Gajan takes it round the goalkeeper, flips it into the net, and India go 3-1 in the lead. A marvellous, marvellous goal. What a goal. It's a real test of character now for Pakistan. There's the man who scored it. It really was a marvellous goal. Beautifully worked. Well, you'd expect Danraj Pile to be involved. But Daljit too played his part initially. And then uh, Gagan finished it off quite beautifully. Gagan Ajit Singh. Third goal of the tournament for Gegen Ajit Singh. Scored as well against uh, Germany and got one of the goals which beat Australia. So he's having a great tournament. Another one of the youngsters, one of the 21 year olds. But even at 21, he'll win his 100th cap in the next game. So the big question now is can Pakistan come back? from 3-1 down. We've got a lot of play in this second half. But we're past the halfway point in this second period. And for all their pressure, they've got to get strikes on goal. They've got to get into the circle and they've got to get a goal back to put themselves back in the match. A bit of nonsense going on there, off the ball, and uh, this is, is it going to be a green card or is it just going to be a, a general talking to? I think it's just a general talking to to a number of players. There we are, you can see the jostling that's going on there, the pushing and the shoving. <laughs> Goalkeeper involved, there's three or four players all involved in that. And uh, I think very sensibly, Modassa, uh, he's going to have to come off. Not sure whether he's got an injury or not, but he's, he's had to come off pretty rapidly and Rehan comes on instead of him uh, but just a general warning I think and a general cooling down administered by umpire Ray O'Connor so we resume with the hit ball shoots high in the air dangerously and so it is another opportunity for Pakistan Sohail Abbas just has a little turn towards the bench has a word with Tahir Zaman the coach there you saw it and surely surely this great great penalty corner striker at some stage is going to beat the goalkeeper Devis Chohan but Chohan has been more than equal to this task so far it's been a marvelous battle between the two now to play it in it's Saklain stopped Ah, well, it was a matter of time. It had to come, didn't it? And at last, Sohail Abbas has, with one of his trademark shots, pulled one back. Here it is. Now, that really is great stuff. Just dragged thick and into the bottom corner, and there was nothing at all that Devis John could do about that. So, Sohail at last gets on the score sheet 
And that's the score at the moment. India three, Pakistan two. Seconds left, three seconds left, and there goes the Hooter. And look at the Indian players, they are delighted. Handshakes all round. Disappointment for Pakistan, of course. One or two shoulders are slumped. But that's what it means to someone like Danraj Pile, who kisses the ground in delight. It's been a great, great win for this young Indian side. They've beaten their great rivals, Pakistan, by three goals to two. It means that they go up to third place or remain in third place, but level on points now with the Netherlands behind Germany. So that will be significant as well. Pakistan will remain in fourth place. But what a match it was, played in front of support which was fanatical for both countries. There's Danraj Pile. He will probably, of all